hello and happy gaming, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and we've got we're gonna I'm gonna try out another Dark Katana build. We're going to see if I can make the make the Radiant Blast, Blazing Vault, and Shearing Chain combo work. By the way, there is no actual combo like that. It's just what I decided to throw together. There we go. So, instead of using Aw, I'm going to use Shift. It's slightly less critical hit chance, but that evade, evade opportunity might just help out. You never know. Plus, I wouldn't mind using the Covert Ops mask if I find it. Ooh. Now, in the long run, I may wish I was using Aw, but I think we'll be okay. Also, we've pretty much got Atlas's number. Just, again, why does it have to be you on Area 3? God, I hate Okay. Let's not let that bother us. Let's just play to the best of our ability. Yeah, that worked. Whee! So this is my first opportunity getting to play this game with the new controller. I hope it works out as well as I'm thinking it will. I know it's a little bit weird using using a single hit just big bang attack essentially as as something that I'm trying to get critical hits with, but I feel it'll work. Plus, I do see something down there that could help. First of all, let's upgrade Radiant Blast. Oh, we get to upgrade both of these, and then potentially take Blazing Lariat. Alright, so this now has a starting hitbox, this now has a blast that lasts longer, and stuns for a longer duration. All right, so our entire opening, our entire opening set is now upgraded. So now it's just a matter of what of what else do we take? Get out of here with that! Come on, Mr. Golem, you got to try harder than that. I know, many of you are probably just going, yeah, let's let's see you get slapped up uh, upside the head for being cocky. That's what you would deserve. But no. Have more faith in me than that, I know what I'm doing. I do think Blazing Larry would be a good one to pick up, but I also want to see what's being sold by Anders. Maybe we've got good relics in store, and blast the crap out of you. Yep, that worked. I do like the ones that start with you just jumping up into the air, because that means that whatever retaliation they were planning, oh, they're not going to hit with it because you're not down here, you're up there. And they're not attacking up there, so it's basically just having a moment of invulnerability so you can catch your breath and be like, be like, this is how I plan your demise. From up in the sky. Excellent. So, as of right now, this build is working just fine. And my controller is working even better than that. Like I said, this is the Fusion Pro from Power A. It's an, I mean, for a third-party controller, it costing $80 is a little bit steep, but like I said yesterday, I'm kind of willing to splurge on quality right now. And for one, it's a nice, hefty controller. I really do enjoy this. It feels nice and sturdy, so... Oh. Oh, hey, I evaded. I still took 10 damage from something, but hey, I evaded something. Ew. Get fucked, mate. Alright, let's wait for your evading Zephyr to go away. Now I can blast you. With blasts that are... According to, according to the card, Radiant.
I don't know. It seems pretty radiant to me. No complaints here. Family seal, blades of sympathy, super sunscreen, permafrost cube. I don't know. I think I'm gonna be best off just buying the just buying the flaming lariat. I know it's called blazing lariat. Don't, don't turn the burn. There we go. I didn't know the Tasmanian Devil was playing. Oh, ha ha! Very funny. All right. Alright, so that could have gone better. But that's why I want the Blazing Lair, so I have a nice circular attack pattern to work with. Oh, stupid Wind Summoner. God, I hate you so much. The bane of my goddamn existence is the Elemental Summoners. Simultaneously, I now know what it feels like when my enemies have to deal with... I'm going to put that on right bumper, I don't know why, just for some reason that feels appropriate. But now I know how my enemies feel when I summon an elemental agent on them. They're just going, oh, real fucking clever. Um, excuse me. You do not have my... Oh, I see. fucking spear guy, go away. Not you, but I mean, I mean, yes, you too, actually. And now that I think about it, you can all just you can all just eat a dick. And no, I'm not taking that because I have multi-hit spells, and I don't really want to deal with that. It's funny. I see them. I see the magician's wand all the time. How often do I see the magician's top hat? That was pretty much my answer. Oh, you son of a bitch. There we go. So, I don't use Aja's Charge very much, but again, it's not its not for any good reason. It's just, I don't, I don't find it very often, and more often than not, I choose not to start with it. Okay, Wind Archer is pissing me off. Yeah, this is not turning out very well at all. Extended range on the Blazing Lariat will help, but I think what we really need is for me to undergo a little bit of constructive brain surgery and not be an idiot for the entire run. Play better, play smarter. I see a quester cap, I want a quester cap, because again, fast movement usually equates to taking less damage. So we will save up we'll save up my coins and quarters and get myself that a quester cap. Also, I'll just charge will save me some damage because not only is it melee. But basically what it does is it just gives you a nice little shield to charge in with, and what a, and if something happens to hit you on the way, you block it on your on your forward charge. That's what that blue bar is that appears over your head when you go to use it. There we go. Good fight, good fight. What fight? We didn't do anything! Exactly! That's why it was a good fight. My big problem with melee builds is that enemies that can strike you from a distance are now harder to deal with, which is why you'll oftentimes see, see me going for going for builds that tend to strike from a distance. The best compromise I could come up with was Blazing Lariat, but 
If I find a, if I find a decent ranged attack, I probably will take it, just because I do feel it's good to have a balance in what you're doing. But yes, this was originally designed as a Dark Katana build, and it's kind of evolving into a I don't know what the fuck I'm doing build. As you can see by the amount of health I have, and I'm only on the second floor, I don't do melee all that well. But I'm trying, because if I want to be entertaining, if I want to know this game inside and out, I've got to, I've got to know what I'm doing. And that includes with spells that I don't really normally use all that often. And I want it to be known, I don't have a huge problem with melee attacks, I'm just not great with them. Uh, I can't afford to put myself in harm's way by taking that right now. I'll just buy the Equestor Cap because the movement speed will help, and so will the ability to reach maximum speed faster. Yep, that works exactly. Come on! You know what Dark Sage we should probably do is time your attack so that he's not attacking when you're attacking. Oh, no shit! Is that how it works? Don't attack into the fucking knife! I figured that part out! I told you, not great with melee attacks. It's a lot easier for me to to handle things from a distance. Oh what? He's got his ultimate. I would like to get something that just boosts my base critical hit chance, because I feel like I feel like it was kind of a mistake to go with to go with the dark katana. Even though I am going with a robe that it should work well with. I am noticing problems. Also, Spark Array will be a big help. Matter of fact, why don't I just put that over Audra's Charge? I know Audra's Charge is a nice defensive attack that lets me charge into things, but Spark Array will let me just get the drop on people. And it'll be effective against Freya's minions, so, I mean, you know, double trouble. Really no reason for me not to go with this. Yeah, that's what you get. You get landed on with fire. Landed on with fire. Sounds like the name of an amateur metal band that just doesn't quite know what they're doing. What? So how did he change his trajectory mid-jump? Or am I, again, just a big old idiot? Okay, you guys are really pissing me off. Okay, gotta rethink my plan here. If I keep getting my ass kicked in every room, I am not gonna make it to the end of this run. And that's... that's not what we want to see. We want to see success, not failure. Some of you might be the exception to that, and to you I say... Hey, why you wanna do that to me? Why you wanna do that? I haven't done anything to you. 
Don't root for my failure. If anything, root for me to have a hard time and then be like, oh look, he learned. Nice of A. Okay, I'm glad that wasn't a mimic. That would have been awful. There. Alright, starting to look a little bit better now. Swing and a miss. That's strike four. You were already out, but now I need to make it official. Perfect. How do you make yourself look like a real pro? Miss with an area of effect attack. not found any of the vendors. How is that possible? I've been through 76% of the floor, not a single one of them. How have we managed this? Alright, come on. Come on, people, I have I have gold just burning a hole in my pocket. There we go. And then hit with an area of effect attack. Hello! Do I have something that's useless? Well, I mean, at the moment, this. I'm going to wait on that, because that could come in handy in the future. Yeah. Okay, come on, Dark Save. Stop getting your ass kicked. Repositioning is something that you have to do a lot when you're using melee. Because there's a good chance... Oh, I see. I see you there, Bubbles. There we go. I definitely think that's worth using over... Ah, just... Ah, just charge, whatever it's called. You know, over, you know, Tuesday lunch or whatever. Okay, so this is very literally what I was asking for, but... Unicorn Tail. No. Take the thing that's going to help out more, and then... If you have the money, get the Unicorn Tail, but... to get rid of the small archer first so I can then hand just spend my spend my time concentrating on the big archer. Alright. You know what, let's go for it. Now Curse Eater's Vest is actually going to do something. Plus 1% armor is nothing, but 15% max health boost is nice. And I do and I have now plus 20% base damage increase. So yeah, I kind of feel like that was worth it. We just need to play a little bit more careful now. And now we have less maximum AP to work with. And you know, if I end up losing this run. Then, yes, someone in the comments will just be like, Hey, I told, I told you not to get so overconfident. And I'll be like, yes, yes, you're right. Oh, 
Oh, of course, you guys get to you guys get to have a successful launch charge. I saw what was happening there, but didn't but didn't react in time. was the right idea that time. I mean, I was trying to angle it upwards, but I mean, I still hit. Somehow. Yes, upgrade the bubbles, please. I don't see anything else there that I really want. There we go. Alright, starting to feel a little bit better about the run now. Sometimes the best thing you can do for yourself is just slow down. There is no reason to go absolutely nuts if you don't have to. Ow. I hate those little buzzsaw guys. Again, it's not, it's not like they're hard to deal with, they just... Earth, water, water. Okay, well I'm not gonna go all the way up there, because I don't have an Earth... an Earth Arcana. Hello, sir. Um... I'm gonna say no. These ones just seem like they're like they're going to be more trouble than they're worth. Also, is Iris selling an Earth Arcana? Because I might be able to trick it. No, she's not. What I'm saying I might be able to use the bouncing bubble to trick the second hit on the lock, but without an Earth Arcana, it's all pretty irrelevant. Hello. Oh, I see two things here I like. I'd probably end up taking Jewelry Box just to, just because that's going to ultimately be the be the greater choice. Just something to something to improve my survivability. But I'm also thinking I'm probably not going to be able to afford it. Hmm. Sadness. You can see the tears rolling down my cheeks. I'm a sad boy. He's a sad boy. Um, what do you do? All mages and summoners have their spells limited. You know what? I'm down for that. You, know, you summoners that want to give me all that trouble, you can just get fucked, mate. Alright. Versus Freya. And you're gonna make the joke about getting cold feet and then freezing me in my tracks and it's like... Is this entire world based on puns? Say no to you! No to you and your giant sword! 
I know a thing or two about giant swords, so I know that that would hurt. Ooh, hello. Ooh, do I want that, though? I mean, yes and no. I like the idea of it, but the execution of it is what I would question. Oh, I'm going up against Atlas, so... It hurts me to say, but I'd better not take it. That's a spell that can be really helpful. I mean, Dark Sage, you could have taken it over Blazing Vault. Yes, I know, but Blazing Vault has its own has its own bonuses. There we go. Namely, the idea that it has that moment of invulnerability on it that I find to be ever so helpful. There we go. Give him the slip, do a quick dodge, hit him where it hurts. What, in the testicles? God, you guys are nasty. Wait, you, you put the words in our mouth? We didn't say that. Are you sure? Because generally when you say hit him where it hurts, you're typically thinking either the testes or the wallet. And trust me, these guys don't have enough money to make it worthwhile. And you could also just hit him in the face. Yes, that would hurt, but... That's a lot of evading. 10% chance, but it must count every must count every hit on that attack for the one chance. This will actually make I mean this is pointless, but evade all attacks while dashing. Yeah. That's what that's what Chaotic Rift does anyway. So I mean that's one that's useful when you're not using Chaotic Rift, but when you are, it just kinda comes off as eh, not that helpful. He got the gummy vitamins! Oh, for once! Alright, no more worries about poison. Oh, hello, Doctor. Now, if I were to give you something right now, you would take... What is this? Token of doom. I mean, okay, why were you holding on to that? I don't want to know what her and Nox were doing. Alright, so I'm going to have to come back once I have an extra Arcana, because otherwise she's going to take Blazing Vault. And I do like the inv the invulnerability on the leap of Blazing Vault, which is why I don't want to get rid of this. Beautifully done. Stupid wind archer. That's what you get. That and the move also has a deceptive range. It's, it counts as a melee attack, but I mean, the leap really carries you like right into their face, and I love it. Alright, here we go. So now we can. <laughs> I just found the one use for permafrost bulwark, but you know what? No, because this is cheaper. Hmm. You can have that. Critical placebos, you are beautiful! Alright, that really helps out a lot. That extra 12% critical hit chance, that's huge. So basically, with the robe, that's 6. So that's 8 at 14. And 28. Triple that is a 76% chance on a critical hit for... 
for my melee based attacks. And then with bouncing bubbles just to control the field a little bit, we've got ourselves a beautiful, beautiful run here. Alright, I'm feeling pretty confident now. And maybe I shouldn't be because I tend to let my hubris get the best of me. But I, I can't help it. I'm feeling pretty good about this run. Do you have anything? I do like Gloves of Gambit when I only have one. Oh, really? Level 3 Strafe Archer just to make me feel stupid for feeling confident? Wow, the original is still up. If it were one of the summoned ones, that would have ended the fight, but the original was still alive. Wow. It's alright, we got him we got that taken care of. Make no mistake, I do feel like level 3 Strafe Archer is probably one of the most dangerous mini bosses. It's like him and I feel dumb. It's like him and level 3 Crush Colossus. They're the ones that really make me feel nervous. No sir! Oh, who do you think you who do you think you're hitting with that? Well, I mean, I thought I was hitting you. I mean, I can understand why you would where you why you would come to that conclusion, but did you, did the bubble bounce off of his stupid reflect shield and start hitting me? God, I hate you guys. These are the biggest jerks, and you should feel like the biggest asshole. You kill your rock and roll. Alright, so nothing there I really want or need. And I only have room for two more relics. Sweet, we've been doing well. Birds! There we go, alright. Wait, thank you, Bubbles. Don't mention it! I'm talking- no, not you, Bubbles! Oh, sorry! I don't know what Bubbles thinks she's doing- she's doing getting into my head like that, but... Seriously, she needs to cut it out. Cassim's airy cloak to help break combos, and I'll probably come back for the Cobalt Firestone, because when you have a melee based, based build, that's actually worth it. Unless... Unless Nox has something for us. I forgot I had the Token of Doom. Oh, you guys, you guys feeling real cheeky, aren't you? And then you guys are down here. Haha. -ha. Alright, what do you got for me? So I have two fire spells. I could take that. I'm just not feeling not feeling particularly strongly about it. Actually, we got through this pretty nicely. 
Don't have to worry about the poison thanks to the gummy vitamins. Just, just a good, a good solid run. It's not over yet, of course. We still have to make it to the end. And now, if need be, we can take the extra money that we earn at the end and replace Token of Doom, Limo's Leaf, or Gummy Vitamins. So it's just going to depend on what's on what's in the shop when we when we get to the end. There's something that we can immediately just say, you know what, Token of Doom, you're not going to have any effect on the on the next area. Give me this gilded helmet, and we're going to walk into the next area looking like a Roman centurion, and it looks really interesting with, against the color purple. Just saying. One, two, three. So somehow his his rock punch is missed. I'm not complaining. I got more damage off on him because of it. Alright, it's still my, it's still my my contention that bouncing bubbles is perhaps one of the best spells in the game, and even lowering its base number of char of charges from five to four does nothing to make me change my mind on that. All right, looking good, looking good, looking good. How dare you? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm loving it. All right, what do we got here? Um, hmm. Uh, hmm. Actually, you know what'll help? Those. Now I can't be frozen. That's one of the things that could really trip me up, is, is if I get frozen. And he can do that, so I'd rather defend against it. And no, he can't poison me, but you know what? I'm happy to have had that relic. Boop, 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 boop. We play ping pong with our bubbles. <clears throat> Something rhymes with troubles. Oh, evade, evade, oh! I told you shift was the right choice. Nice. Alright. We're doing great so far. We just need to not stop doing great. Evasion, evasion, just being the hero of the day. All right, I got greedy. I, I deserve that one. I saw the signature and I was like, I gotta do this. 
And yeah, it's only a 10% chance to evade, but it feels like so much more when you're in the midst of things and the game is just like, you evaded that, you evaded that, you evaded that. Evaded what? Your taxes, you jackass. All I need is for you to just be... See? Alright, victory! Don't need to wait for you to be vulnerable, I can just hit you now! Once again, making the point for if you have a melee-based build, that's great. But just one... Just one missile-ranged attack can really make the difference. As soon as I picked up Spark Array, I went from, I'm constantly getting punted in the butt, what's going on here? To, I'm in complete control. So, never, never rest on your laurels, especially if you get something like Bouncing Surge, Bouncing Bubbles, or Spark Array. Because that will, it will make your melee runs that much better, I guarantee it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I, ver I always appreciate the support I get on this series. Uh, drop me a like, leave me a comment. I'd like to know what things you guys like, what things you guys don't like. Or if you, even if you just want to have a discussion, feel free to bend my ear. And I will be back in the next one with some more good stuff. You guys take care. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.